guys and fellow lovers of the keeping world welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in my channel this is me Giorgio and yeah I'm a little bit stinky today because I didn't take my bath no I'm just kidding I have a night vision potion because well you've read it in the title you've seen it in the intro but I'm gonna mention it again so this tutorial is for a tunnel bore a TNT tunnel bore so if you do not know what a tunnel bore is, let's actually re get rid of these particles because they're very annoying. That's much better. So yeah, if you don't know what a tunnel bore is, it's basically a machine that helps you mine through an area like this one. And yeah, it uses some uh, explosive uh, device or something to basically mine through the area that you want. In this case, I'm using TNT, but there are tunnel bores that use um, Withers, for example, ghasts for the nether, and I haven't seen one that uses creepers, but it would be interesting to try to make one at some point. Um, so yeah, since I heard for the first time the term tunnel bore, I've wanted to make one myself, to design one myself, and this is finally the day. This is the tunnel bore that I'm going to show you how to build in a moment, and in this case I'm gonna, I've been using it to mine and blast through an entire mountain, so... All of this has been blasted through with that little piece of uh, slime blocks and redstone blocks and whatever. So yeah, it's a bit it's a bit dangerous if you're getting here with survival. But as you can see, this tunnel bore is quite precise in the way that it blasts through an area. Because if you see, the, the floor doesn't pass above this level right here. So no blocks are above this level. Of course, we have a lot of holes all around, but if you want a flat area, this is a very good option. It is not difficult to just go around and patch all the holes. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it leaves it quite flat. The same goes for the ceiling. And if you're wondering, this is a floor and ceiling uh, are separated by a distance of eight blocks. So two, four, six, eight. Yep. Um, that's throughout all the tunnel and if you expand the tunnel board because this is something that this tunnel board design has you can infinitely expand it if you expand it all of the area that you mine uh, with the tunnel board is gonna be eight blocks high except for the of course the the walls here and the edges which are not as um, smooth as the floor and the ceiling but still it creates a very nice area I think so let's change the scenario a little bit. So we are here in the very world that I've designed for you to download, guys. And I'm going to say this very early in the episode because I'm actually going to... Oh, <laughs> I'm actually going to show you how to build the tunnel board. But I have left this area here of terrain so that you can actually test some of the versions of the tunnel board that we have here. I have also... Uh, left that one with the deep slate, the one that you saw in the intro. This is a hundred uh, blocks wide tunnel board. It's actually 103, so you can test it out if you want. And this is a 31 blocks wide. And this is just the main module that we use for the tunnel board. So this is just one module of the tunnel board. And yeah, I've left this space because here I'm going to show you how to build the tunnel board. And if you want to follow through and, I mean, follow along with us and build it uh, yourselves this is where we're gonna start building it so you can download the world just right now and be ready for the tutorial and follow along as you build it and that way you also have a way of testing it because you have this massive terrain that i've um, inserted here in this world but anyways guys i'm really excited to show you this tunnel board because um the way i designed it was thinking on well having no not a lot of resources because we're gonna mine for resources that's the whole point of the of the tunnel bore so we're not using any ancient debris uh, here to hold the tnt which is a good thing because nowadays there are many tunnel bores that use ancient debris and i didn't like it because you have to mine for ancient debris then I build a smaller tunnel bore then use it to mine more ancient debris and get uh, enough for a bigger tunnel bore so this one you can build it right away um I think the, the most expensive thing that it probably uses is the glazed terracotta, which is not a whole deal uh, these days because you can actually farm it. Um, I guess the redstone blocks are kind of expensive and maybe the TNT and coral fans. If you want to get the coral fans though, you can just bone mill the floor of any uh, warm 
ocean. It doesn't have to be a coral reef. It can be a lukewarm ocean or a warm ocean, and it will give you uh, coral fans every so often. So yeah, just keep bone meal until it gives you one, and you can mine it with the Silk Touch um, tool. Um, another thing that I decided not to use was honey blocks because they're a pain to farm, especially to get all the bees that you need. So I decided to only use slime blocks, which are very, uh, very easy to farm. Um, especially these days with the with the swamp based slime farms that Omago discovered, I think. So yeah, it's 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 quite cheap, and I also made it in a way that it was easy to expand because you have to just copy the same module over and over. As you can see, the the TNT tunnel bore is modular. Uh, each module is composed by this square right here with the with this uh, front part and the TNT dupers. So yeah, that's why I'm very excited to show it to you guys because this is finally done. And before we get into the tutorial, actually, I'm, I'm going to make uh, some warnings and I'm going to explain you how to use it correctly, just in case you just want to uh, get in this world and use it already as a test. So first of all, beware that the TNT tunnel board won't work in fluids. That's the first and most important warning I think I have to do. Well, actually, one of the most important because I think there's two. So uh, yeah, they, the tunnel board doesn't work in fluids and or obsidian blocks. Yeah, if you encounter any lava falls or any uh, waterfalls, any lava lakes, wa uh, water lakes, just be sure to uh, get rid of them as soon as possible as you are using the tunnel board because otherwise the TNT won't blow up inside of lava or inside of water and yeah, the, the blocks won't be uh, blow up, blown up and the tunnel board will get stuck at some point, right? When it reaches those blocks that uh, didn't get uh, blown up. And the other thing that you have to get rid of immediately is obsidian blocks because obsidian blocks um, will stop the flying machine completely. You cannot advance through obsidian blocks. And... Yeah, it cannot blow up obsidian blocks either. So yeah, those are the two. If you're using it in the nether, same goes for ancient debris and lava. And the second important warning is that to use this tunnel bore, you have to click on this node block right here. Uh, that will uh, throw the TNT and make it fly all the way forward. And if you click this node block too fast, you're going to break the TNT tunnel bore. So my recommendation is wait for the TNT to blow up. Uh, right there at the front and once it's blown up uh, it has blown up you are safe to click the node block again so yeah be sure to follow that uh, recommendation to the letter because otherwise your whole tunnel bar is gonna explode and I sh I'm sure you don't want that and finally a bit of an explanation on how to use it and how it works just for you to know a little bit about it so um, first of all you've already seen that to use it we just click that node block and we wait for the TNT to blow up but the the actual way to use it is not to wait for the blocks here on the walls to be blown up and then pick them up I mean it's a good it's a good uh, way to get a lot of cobblestone or a lot of deep slate and this diorite and stuff but if you want the ores my recommendation is grab yourself one of these uh, texture packs that actually uh, light up the, the, the ores with Optifine. I have this one that just puts the border uh, on, the, on the ores. I, I, I find it uh, easier that way and I find it's all I need. But there's Optifine uh, texture packs that allow you to see the glow on the ores. So that, that's just for you to spot them a bit easier. So the way to use it is you click the node block and then you you go through all this area that you have just blown up, collecting the blocks maybe, seeing if there are any ores in the walls. Um, you sweep twice, so one this way and then the returning. And once you've cleared out everything, also all the lava, water and obsidian, you can click the node block once again. If you just wanted to blast a hole through a mona, for example, or something, and you don't care about the the ores or the products that you might get, it's actually very easy to do it as well, because you have to just sit on this minecart and click the no block every time from here, and you can actually see the TNT blow up so that you are ready to click the no block once again. But enough rambling guys, let's get into the tutorial already because the intro has been quite long already. So um, we're going to come here to our designated spot for the tutorial and we're going to leave uh, 14 blocks of a gap here in between the wall and the TNT tunnel bore. 
So here is going to we're gonna, where we're going to start uh, building it. Now, if you're going to build it in survival, uh, you still need to leave this little gap here in between the tunnel bore and the first uh, blocks of the wall that you want to blast with them. Um, if you want to build like a very long tunnel bore, what I would sh suggest is that you build a smaller one like this one um, to blast through an area uh, like this and then perpendicular to that you build the bigger tunnel bore uh, that will go that way instead after you have made the first tunnel. If you're wondering how big of a hole you have to make, well it's the 14 blocks uh, this way and the 21 blocks uh, wide or well long that the tunnel bore is so that is a 35 blocks uh, tunnel in this direction and of, of height you know that it's eight blocks or seven blocks if you want in the beginning but the tunnel bore is going to create a hole of eight blocks so th that you can easily walk below it and yeah check out the floor and maybe activate it from here below if you want so yeah let's get started so first we're going to leave the 14 blocks and then and on the 15 block, we're going to place an observer facing downward and an observer facing backward. This is going to be the back and this is going to be the front, um, reading that last observer. So then we're going to grab a, a wall and we're going to place it there. We're going to grab our glazed terracotta. Very important that it is a glazed terracotta here. And we're going to place it here on top of the other observer. Then we're going to place a sticky piston facing upward here. Uh, being powered by this observer right here and on top of the sticky piston we're going to place a slime block then we're going to extend a, this slime block making a line of five slime blocks so four more slime blocks just like that and here on the other side we're going to place a normal block and with normal block i'm meaning any block that is a full block and can be uh, moved and uh, by pistons and stick uh, to slime blocks so I'm using glass in this case, but you can use, for example, iron blocks or any any block that you can move with pistons and can stick to slime blocks. And then in front of it, we're going to place a wall. Now that we have here, of course, we can get rid of our marker here of 14 blocks. It was just uh, to know where to start building. And I'm going to show you how to build this TNT tunnel board from the front to the back here at the beginning. But afterward, for the extension, we're going to start from the back to the front because it's a bit easier. But anyways, the next thing that we have to do is come here to the middle slime block here of the line that we just placed. And we're going to place three temporary blocks just like so. On top of this third temporary block, we're going to place two slime blocks just like so. We can now remove those. And we're going to place two observers. One on top of these two slime blocks and the other one oh, <laughs> at the bottom right here. Both facing to the front and powering two pistons that we're going to place just like so. The next thing we're going to do is the second part of the TNT handler. So this, this front part of the TNT uh, tunnel bore, I like to call it the TNT handlers. The first TNT handler is here at the bottom and we have one at the top. So we're going to place a temporary block here and a normal block in front of it. Then we're going to place a, a slime block right here and a temporary block um, at the bottom of this normal block. And we're going to place an observer facing into that for a slime block. We're going to remove the temporary block. And we're going to place a sticky piston on top, of, on top of the slime block facing backward. It's going to have on its face another line of five slime blocks centered on the piston, just like so. And we're going to then build the antlers of the second TNT handler. Now, the antlers are to remove all the momentum of the, of the TNT when it's launched upward. So these trapdoors are going to limit the TNT uh, movement upward and they're going to uh, remove all of its upward momentum at the right time so that when uh, this advances, because this has a little bit of more delay than the, the, the TNT handler down there. So when this advances, it's going to push the TNT forward, but it's not going to have any momentum upward and it's going to blow up right at the center of the TNT duper so that it can leave a... a a hole that it, that's big enough so that the whole TNT tunnel bore can pass through. The next thing that we're going to do is come back here and we're going to place two temporary blocks right here. Then we're going to place a stick piston here at the back right there and an observer facing um, to the front right on top of that slime block. We can now remove the temporary blocks and we're going to place a normal piston right uh, in front of that slime block facing to the front as well.
the next thing that we're gonna do is place a sticky piston here at the bottom of this slide block it's gonna be facing backward and we're gonna place a redstone block here at its side now be careful on which side you place it because the side that you place it on is gonna be where you're gonna have your uh, launching system so this system with the no block right here as you can see we have the redstone block here at the same side where that system is if you want to put it on the other side you just have to follow the tutorial uh, the same way but mirrored so if i place for example these line of slime blocks right here you're gonna place them instead like this but anyways we're gonna place a slime block here on the face of this uh, extended sticky piston and we're gonna place another one right next to it just like so as you can see it's to the contrary side or to the opposite side than this redstone block is then we're gonna place an observer facing inward just like so on top of that last slime block and powering a piston that is facing forward and it's gonna push that slime block right there the next thing that we're gonna do is a bit different for this first module because of the launching system but it's gonna be uh, the same uh, neck for the next uh, modules so it's just gonna be different for this first one so we're gonna have placed two slime blocks right here next to this redstone block and then three normal blocks here to the back just like so then we're gonna place two temporary blocks here at the back of these uh, normal blocks and we're gonna place on top of that last temporary block two slime blocks just like so then we can remove them and replace them for a normal piston that will be facing uh, to the front this is where our flying machine for the delay so that we can wait for the TNT to be ready to blow up is gonna be so we're gonna start making it and yeah it's a bit tricky to make it so pay attention so first of all we're gonna come here to the back and we're gonna place a redstone block just like that then we're gonna return here to the front and we're gonna place a sticky piston facing uh, to the front just uh, right next to that slime block then we're gonna place two slime blocks in a vertical formation in front of that sticky piston and then we're gonna place another sticky piston right at the uh, next to that bottom slime block facing backward just like so the next thing we're gonna do is a bit tricky and it's placing three observer blocks now these three observer blocks have to be uh, placed in an exact formation so the first one is gonna go here on top of this sticky piston and it's gonna go facing downward just like so the second one is on top uh, it goes on top of this slime block and it's also facing downward but the third one goes on top of this slime block and instead it's gonna be facing upward just like so now the next thing we're gonna do is place an obsidian block here just a temporary measure so that the flying machine doesn't move as we work on it and we're gonna place a temporary block here to its side the next thing that we're gonna do is grab a sticky piston and we're gonna place it uh, facing backward right at the back of that uh, temporary block and a normal piston facing to the front right on top of that temporary block we can now remove it the next thing we're gonna place is a slime block here at the face of this sticky piston and we're gonna place an observer facing backward just like so and it's gonna be reading a normal block uh, on top of that sticky piston the next thing we're gonna do is place two temporary blocks here at the back of this observer and a normal piston here at uh, the bottom of that last temporary block we can now remove them and that's our flying machine complete so now that the delay fly machine is done we're gonna go ahead and build the the launching system or the triggering system so the first thing we're gonna do is place a, a normal block on top of that observer and a, a normal block in front of it just like so then we're gonna build an L shape of slime blocks and up an upside L shape just like that here next to those normal blocks and then we're gonna also build an L shape here at the, at the top it's actually gonna be like that it's this one is not upside uh, down if you are facing that way now that we have placed that normal block right there we can just remove that temporary obsidian that we had just placed and yeah i recommend you that you uh, remove it right now because otherwise you're gonna probably forget or at least that's what happened to me <laughs> quite a few times and i blew up my whole uh, tunnel bore so yeah just remove it while you while you can remember and the next thing that we ought to do is build the triggering system but to do that we need the first TNT launcher so we're gonna build that we're gonna place it a normal piston right here facing to the front and an observer facing uh, also to the front right on top of this slime block that we just placed 
The next thing we're gonna do is place a slime block here at the face of this sticky piston, I mean normal piston. Then we're gonna place a normal block here and two slime blocks right in front of it. As you can see, these two slime blocks will stick to the slime block down here that we already had, so we're just gonna remove it temporarily and we're gonna replace it with two normal blocks just like so. Then we're gonna place a coral fan on top of that normal block and a temporary block on top of it. Then we're gonna place a TNT here in front of this temporary block and a normal block on top of it. Then we're going to remove that temporary block and we're going to place a detector rail here on top of this line block with a minecart on it. And that's our TNT duper, as you can see, it's very simple and that's the one, the design that we're going to use for the entire tunnel board. As you can see, we repeat it all the times that we need. Um, by the way, there are two, uh, two TNT dupers per module of tunnel board, so we're just missing one here at the other side that will land on top of this block, this TNT will land on top of the glazed terracotta. So now the only thing that we're missing is to assemble it, so we're gonna power that normal piston that, uh, back there, and that's the way to assemble it. So now that it's assembled, we can replace that slime block back to its rightful position. Now that we have that TNT uh, duper, we're gonna use it to build the triggering system. So we're gonna use this slime block here to place a sticky piston facing backward right next to it, and we're gonna place a redstone block here at its side, just like so. Then we're gonna place three slime blocks here at the bottom of these redstone blocks, redstone block, sorry, just like that. And we're gonna place an observer here at the bottom of this uh, middle slime block with a piston facing forward, just like so. We're gonna place a temporary block on the face of that piston and a slime block in front of it, just like that. And then we're gonna place a sticky piston on top of that slime block. The last thing we're gonna do is place our node block here on top of this slime block and an observer reading it and powering that sticky piston. So that's our triggering mechanism. And you actually could already use the TNT tunnel board if you wanted by right clicking this node block. But of course we are missing the TNT duper here on the other side. So I wouldn't recommend it until you place the TNT duper. And to do so we're gonna do our first expansion of the of the top line here. The top line is in charge of powering and pushing all the TNT dupers. And to expand it is very easy. You come here to the piston that pushes the TNT duper and you place a slime block next to that last one that we have. Then we'll place a redstone block here at the side with a sticky piston also next to it. Then we're gonna place a slime block here at the front of this at the back of this stick piston, right at its face, at its face. And then we're going to place an observer here uh, next to the slime block facing into it. Then we're going to place a normal piston on top of the slime block ready to push another slime block that we're going to place here on top of this sticky piston. The next thing we're going to do is place two normal blocks here at the side of this um, slime block that will push another slime block here at the side of this sticky piston. And this slime block will have an observer here on top of it and a piston being powered by it right in front of it. This is for the next TNT duper, which we are going to build right now. I'm going to repeat the process so that you can see it again. So first of all, we place a slime block right on the face of the normal piston, then a temper, I mean a normal block right uh, below it, then two slime blocks in this vertical formation in front of that normal block, and then uh, two, two normal blocks here at the bottom. As you can see here, we don't have any slime block that will obstruct our uh, path here, so we don't have to remove one and temporarily, uh, I mean, remove one temporarily and then replace it again. But that will happen every two, uh, two TNT dupers. So throughout all your TNT tunnel bore, you're gonna have to replace, remove and replace that slime block right there, every other TNT duper that you encounter. And as you know, the each module has two TNT dupers in it. So every module you're gonna have to do that. So be careful with that. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is place our coral fan, temporary block, TNT, normal block, and detector rail here on top of this line block with a minecart on it. Now that we have it right like that, we just assemble it by powering this piston. And with that, that's our first module of the TNT duper, the only one that is different because of the launcher. And if you wanted to build just the, the only module, you can already use it. As you can see, it's exactly the same as this one. So if you want to see it in action, we can just click on that note block 
and the whole TNT duper, the t whole TNT tunnel board will advance by one block by blowing up all of that area here at the front. But of course, guys, a seven wide TNT tunnel board is not very appealing, right? And many of you will want a bigger one. So let's actually get into the next part of the tutorial, which is to expand the TNT tunnel board. It's uh, for the expansion, so we're gonna get onto that, but actually before we do, I forgot to make another warning. So, as you are using the TNT tunnel board, you're probably gonna encounter with this level of, dark, of, of darkness or even more. So, it would be nice if you take with you some night vision potions, just to see in the dark, and some fire resistant potions, just to handle the lava without any problems, right? But anyways, let's get to the expansion tutorial, and it's actually very easy. So you come back here to the line, to the bottom line here that is in charge for, of pushing the, the TNT handlers right here. And you're going to come to this line block right here, and next to it, you're going to place four more slime blocks in a line, just like that. Then you're going to come here to the side, and you're going to place two normal blocks right like so. Then a slime block here at the front and a redstone block next to that one. Then you're going to place a sticky piston next to the redstone block, a slime block here on top, and I mean at the front, and another slime block here at the side. And as you can see, this formation right here already kind of looks like this one right here, which means that we've already extended the line that uh, pushes the, the TNT handlers already. So to finish it up, you're going to place uh, an observer facing inward into a piston that will push a slime block right here. And it's already looking exactly the same as this one. The only thing that we're missing is, of course, the next pusher, which is co uh, composed by an observer here facing into a, an air block that will power this piston, that will quasi-power that piston. Then temporary block in front of it, a slime block right here. Another slime block on top of it, and we can see already that it's looking right exactly like that one. So we just copy the same thing. I'm gonna do it super quickly because, yeah, you can just uh, rewind the video and see the last part. Um, so the the red the slime block line right here. And something that I'm gonna do is show you how to build it from the back to the to the front this time because it's a bit different as uh, than from the front to the back. So instead of placing the observer source, we're gonna place the slime blocks uh, line first, then we're gonna place the glacier ricotta, the the wall here in front, the observers here at the at the bottom, and the sticky piston. And that's how you do it. Uh, the rest of it it's exactly the same, super easy to do. Um, so I'm just gonna build it right here real quick. And of course, we end up with the antlers of the system right here. And I call them the antlers because I see the TNT tunnel bore as a little worm that is uh, blasting its way through uh, the terrain, the soil here. So yeah, these are their little antlers here at the front. Uh, but anyways, that's the first expansion. And well, the next thing to do is expand the the top line here for the TNT tubers, which we have already done. I'm going to do it once again, just... For you to see it again but it's exactly the same thing so we just place here at the side of this um, another slime block redstone block a sticky piston facing backward piston a observer facing into that slime block right there then we're gonna place a piston ready to push the slime block here on top of this piston then we're gonna place two normal blocks right there pushing another slime block with an observer on top and a piston here at the front and here is where we build our third TNT duper. And as you can see, it's going to stick to this slime block. So let's actually build it real quick. So it's exactly the same. The two blocks here are going to stick to this slime block. So in this one, we just remove it temporarily, replace it for the two blocks. And once the, the TNT duper is ready, we can now remove the, the, I mean, replace that slime block that we just removed. So let's actually finish it here right now. We activate it, and now we have the space ready and free for us to replace that slime block right there. And as I said, that's going to happen every other duper. And of course, we're missing the last duper here on this side, so we're going to do exactly the same. And yeah, I'm just going to uh, jump it right through because you've already seen it twice or, th or three times. I, uh, twice, actually. So yeah, if you want to see it again, just rewind the video. I'm sure you can find it quite easily.
and there we go guys the last uh, TNT duper is in place and now we have two modules of the machine if we have if you want to uh, have more modules of it you just rewind that last part of the video since we expanded it and it's it's basically the same as you can see here down um, here at the bottom we still have the same formation so the other four slime blocks would go here and the same goes for the TNT dupers here at the top so yeah just just do that once again and you can expand it as much as you want and so that's it guys for the tutorial for the tunnel bore um yeah once that you have it finished it's just a matter of right clicking that note block and watch it blast through your area right here and yeah you can do it as much as you want as much as you need um of course it's beneficial this uh, little machine to mine the the diamonds nowadays because we need it for the armor trims to duplicate them so yeah i thought it was a perfect um time to do the tunnel board to design it and to post it here in my youtube channel so anyways guys thank you so so much for watching um, as I said before, the, the world download for this very world, of course, without the, the new uh, tunnel bore and of course without uh, this being used and that won't be used, it's going to be down in the description for you to test the tunnel bores and to maybe follow the tutorial here on this side. Um, maybe try to expand it a bit more. You, you still have some space here at the side um, for you to try it and see if it works. And yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us here today and yeah i hope you like the video hope you like the contraption hope you find it useful thank you thank you so so much for watching i'll see you in the next one of course if you consider that this is a good video and you're gonna use it and like it please hit the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more content like uh, the general content that i post in this channel and yeah, <laughs> uh, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great week and goodbye.